Alright. Hey, uh, today I'm going to show y'all how to build a solar panel, start to finish, buying everything off of eBay. Uh, we sell, manufacture and sell the frame to build solar panels. Um, you get four pieces of aluminum angle iron and the brackets, everything is, is, is into a kit. Uh, it's roughly $35 plus shipping. Or you can buy the frame and the glass already assembled. And basically it looks like this. And it's about $85. This is a low iron tempered glass, quarter inch thick. It lets 100% of the light in. Especially designed for solar application. Uh, it stays clear for decades. There's no, um, when the sun's at an angle, you get more light in. And you get more power throughout the day. So the first thing we're going to do is start. We've got our glass already silicone to the frame. Little mounting clips that help hold it in. Pretty simple system, stainless steel bolt. Uh, the next thing we do is we take our solar cells that you buy on eBay, and they come packaged looking like this. They're fragile, so be careful with them. You want to use a nice, clean surface. And you lay them, and I gently roll the tabbing wire out to get it straight. If you just pull on it, you may break the cell. And once I get it like so, I got a little homemade piece of sandpaper on the end of a pencil. You want to rough up the little connectors. The front is negative and the back side here is positive. And then after you get it cleaned and ready, you simply lay it onto the glass. And what I do is I'll take a, a weight and I'll just eyeball it and line it up where I want it, just about a eighth inch in from the angle. And I have a table with a hole in it so I can see what I'm doing. And uh, once we solder the 36 cells together, I am able to do a voltage test on it to make sure that none of the cells are bad before I encapsulate it. So it's basically, you just take your cells, you line them up roughly an eighth inch apart, and you just stack one on the other. And then I'm going to solder one of them together here. I use little weights hold everything in place and a little way to hold my tabbing wire down and I'll solder one here real quick it'll drop on the end of your thing and you just touch it That's basically it. You do that to all the cells, and once you get to the end, once you get to the end, you do a row, the four rows of nine. You start the next row, the next set of cells will be turned opposite. Electricity flows like so. And I will take you to the next step. Get this one out of the way. So I started I started here and let's see, no, I started here, came down this way, you connect bus wire. It also comes on eBay. 
and it's soldered in and it connects this row to this row. You can see the length is about so. And all these are soldered into the tabbing wire. It comes up and this one is also bus wired in again. So the two middle ones are connected together. It flows back up. Again, bus wire here. The electricity flows back up to a short piece of bus wire on each end. When you get your bus wire, soldered in on this side, adjust this one row, adjust this one row, you take your tabbing wire and you have to solder this in yourself, last bit of tabbing wire, hooks to your bus wire and then you solder in your diode. The diodes I get on eBay, they look like that. I bend them to look like this and they solder in this side will solder to your bus wire. The other side will go to your wire, which goes to a terminal block. A dollar at the electronic store. It simply bolts to the side of the frame, your negative side. Your wire welds in, solders into your bus wire and it connects to the bottom of your terminal. You got positive and negative where you'll hook your wires coming through. Once you have all 36 cells soldered together, your next step, make sure that they still can squirm around. You, you want to make sure they're nice and in line. And before I encapsulate, to make my encapsulant go further, I take clear silicone. It's got a 50-year warranty. And I basically caulk a dike around the edge of the, each of the cells to hold the encapsulant in because the encapsulant is so expensive you don't want to waste it out here on nothing. So basically you stay fairly close to the cell and you put like a quarter inch bead and then your next step is to mix Capsuling up and it takes about five minutes, so we're going to shut off the camera now.